Okinawa week is coming to an end here on the show, but it's all leading up to tomorrow's big time celebration. That's right. We went to the Okinawa Center in YPL to get the details from the coordinator of the Okinawa Festival. Okinawan Festival is literally tomorrow and somebody who's very busy and been very busy leading up and will be very busy tomorrow at the Hawaii Convention Center is the chair of the festival herself, Clarice Kobashigawa, and she joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us. Hello, appreciate it. good morning. You've taken some valuable time to sit and chat with us. I appreciate that. Yes. You've been busy, haven't you? I have. It's been the month leading up to this weekend has been um, just grueling and, and um, countless, but all worth it, right? I mean, I we have an amazing, amazing community um, and core committee of volunteers who are so dedicated and but for their help, we would not be able to do this this weekend. So we are so excited to finally put this on display and show everyone um, what our community can do. That's awesome. Okay, so for our viewers, somebody wants to go down to the festival, some things that we should know. Give us some things that we should know. All right, so starting tomorrow, Saturday, September 3rd, um, people can be prepared to come in from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Early admission is 9 to 10 a.m. and that's for an additional fee, um, an additional $5 um, per person. Um, then that leads us into Sunday, which is 9 to 4 p.m. Um, and lest I forget um, the Saturday Bone Dance, which is one of, which is the biggest in war, indoor Bone Dance, is from 5.30 to 9 p.m. So, okay. and that is a completely free um, event. And we just want to see as many people as possible um, attending that Dance. I'd love for you to tell our viewers again real quick because you did said in addition so the cost of admission is right so ten dollars regular admission um, for 13 years old to 64 years old then five dollars for 65 and over and free for all children 12 12 years 12 years old and younger do I look like that can I get you think I can get in free oh for free no? Oh, just for you, just oh, for you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. But one thing that I know a lot of people are looking forward to is the grinds. Uh, tell us what we can expect as far as the food department. Right, so all of your local, um, on, or your local Okinawan favorites, on the ghee, on the dog, yakisoba, Okinawan soba, yakitori chicken sticks, Ooh. champuru, um, oki dogs, uh, and yeah, all of, just all of the, the normal um, comebacks of 2019 and 2018. What's your favorite? Definitely the andagi, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. It's gonna be hot, uh, fresh, and piping. We're cooking it right outside of the convention center, so um, we're decreasing wait time, um, hopefully, and also increasing the freshness. So we're super excited about that. Now, along with the food, some great entertainment. Can you tell us what to expect? Yeah, so again, um, we are so excited to be back because this is giving our local um, performing groups a chance to finally be back on stage in front of a huge live audience. Mm -hmm. um, so again, you can expect Okinawan live music, dance, karate, and taiko um, as the returning groups, yeah. This must be pretty exciting because finally it's back in person. It is, yeah. We are so, so, so thrilled for it. We've been waiting for it. Um, as far as we can see, there's a lot of need for it. People, um, you know, keep messaging us and wanting to know, is this on for sure, for mm -hmm. sure? And yes, it is for sure. <laughs> so yeah, we can't um, wait to just reconnect um, live in person and just give everyone that Okinawan flavor and culture and um, sense of family that everyone looks forward to seeing. Well, I'm sure you're expecting a huge turnout can you let everybody that is coming out know about parking? Okay, so you can expect parking to be available at the Hawaii Convention Center for $12 um, per vehicle. No in and out, um, no overnight parking. Um, and then we also have parking available at the Civic Center Municipal Parking Lot. Mm -hmm. um, make sure to enter off of um, South Baratania Street. Um, it is right next to the Frank Fossey Municipal Building. And that is available for um, $3 um, for a round trip. Um, guests can come into the center, um, no problem. And then they just need to make sure to pick up a pass um, that day or, or pay for a pass that day and then um, catch a shuttle back. So again, 7 to 9.30 on Saturday and then 7 to 5.30 on Sunday. Okay. Okay, perfect. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. You're expecting a lot of people to show up. I'm gonna open it up now for you to, to let our viewers know anything extra that you might wanna get out to them, any information that you wanna let us know. 
please come, please attend. Um, we, our community has been working so hard um, these last few months to get this event together. Um, and we are just so overjoyed to share our culture. Um, again, our sense of passion, um, our sense of community with everybody. Um, and we just know that if you come, you will have an amazing time. So please, please, please come join us um, and share that Uchinanchu Aloha. That's so great. Thank you. I can hear it in your voice. You're getting emotional. I know there's a lot of work that's been put into this. Of course, all the information that was said here today uh, will be available on our website shortly after the show. So make sure you check out kchun2.com for all the important stuff she just got done saying. Thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate it. And have fun. Oh, we will. Chibadio.